everybody and my name is Fiona Fitzpatrick and I am the 2021 insurance apprentice winner. I'm catching up today with the, the top 12 contestants of the insurance apprentice 2022 and today I'm really excited to be speaking to Katu. Congratulations on your position in the top 12 Katu and it's a super fantastic achievement to be here today and speaking to you. For us to be here chatting today, you've competed in the first round of the competition and because of achieving the highest score in your session, you've been chosen for the next round. Um, so let's hear, hear a bit more about you. So maybe let's kick it off with, tell us who you are, where you work and what you do there. Uh, hi Fiona, uh, my name is Katu Macheka and I work at Old Mutual Insurance doing corporate claims. And yeah, it feels good. I was a bit nervous going into the competition, but um, I'm really proud of with myself with my achievement thus far. Well done. It really is an achievement, and it's it's a super exciting road to be on um, going forward. Um, did you find the elimination round stressful? How how were your nerves through that round? My nerves were through the roof because uh, I thought I had fumbled it in the beginning, but. <laughs> Uh, and I guess I had to pick up steam as the, as the competition went, went, went forward. Yeah. It sounds like you made quite a comeback then, hey? I like to believe so, because uh, the first <laughs> few questions, I couldn't, I couldn't put, get the answers in on time. Yeah, it, it does take a while to get like familiar with the technology and the, okay, fastest answer first, but you don't want to be the, the, the fastest wrong answer first, because then you get, in, you, you, you get given a lot of grief from from old Simon. Um, so yeah, I mean, I remember those nerves like it was yesterday for me. So, so how do you feel about being in the top 12? I mean, it's such an amazing achievement and, 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 and again, well done. Um, what does it mean to you to be in the top 12? Uh, in the, being in the top 12, uh, going to the competition, I just thought to myself, if I can make it through the first round, then I'll be happy with myself. But now, maybe, now realizing the dream of being in the top 12, I don't know. Hey, I don't know how to feel. I think it's just the beginning. And let's see how far I can go from here on, onwards. It's really, really exciting. So what are you most excited for in terms of the competition going forward? Like what's sticking out to you as being the, the, the upcoming highlight of the competition going forward? Uh, getting out of my shell on my comfort zone because I am not much one of uh, I, don't, I don't I don't like speaking in public, and I think that will be my most challenging thing during the competition. And if I can get out of my comfort zone and just go out there and present and be and do well in all the tasks ahead of ahead of me, then I think I will I'll go far in the competition. It's that 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 is that is an awesome that is an awesome outlook to have on it, you know, to stretch to strengthen something that you might see as a weakness, um, to bring it forward in the competition and it will help you shine. Um, so with that being your sighted side of it, what are you most nervous about? Is there is there anything that's niggling at you? Getting eliminated. <laughs> in the next episode <laughs> that's what i'm worried about and uh, we, we try and get and avoid that as much as possible let, 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 i just pray that i don't get eliminated in the next round just gotta believe and i think you'll get through <laughs> so um you haven't been through the insurance apprentice journey before and this is your first time uh walking this path um do you feel that that was an advantage or a disadvantage for you um, in the competition so far? I think it's an advantage because I'm going in with an open mind, not mm. knowing what to expect. So everything is new to me and I'm just taking it as it comes. Mm. And I'm using it as, as, as an advantage. Okay. And do you like the virtual format or do you think possibly an in-person a uh, scenario would have had more advantages or disadvantages or be a very different game to play, basically? Uh, the in-person one, uh, I've watched the previous episodes 
I mean, the previous seasons and the in-person one, I think is a bit more daunting. The virtual one, I'm finding it a bit easier. I just this is now based on my personal preference because I'm an introvert and I don't like being in front of people. <laughs> and this is now working in my advantage. Yeah, and I think we've become so familiar with this virtual environment and connecting with colleagues and uh, even friends, I mean, through throughout mm -hmm. the hard lockdown that we went through in, in, in a virtual environment. So I think we may be getting more and more familiar with it as time goes on, that it's, you know, as everybody says, the new normal. <laughs> 100%. So do you know who uh, some of the task sponsors are and, and, and which one's challenges make you the most nervous? Uh, I know that some of the task sponsors are that being Sazria, there's Marsh, I think, and also Otter in, Otter in general in the mix. But uh, the one that makes me more nervous, it's Sazria. Uh, it, anything from Sazria is a bit challenging because it's not readily out there and most people don't know about it, about their offerings. But that's what, and, and that's what makes, makes me a bit nervous when going into the next rounds. Yeah, and I suppose over the last year, we, we all had big learnings from Sazria with everything that went on um, in, the, in the country and the economic environment and the insurance industry um, from, from, from a Sazria point of view last year. Um, so do you have any predictions of some of the topics that will be touched on um, in the upcoming challenges? Um. My prediction is, uh, given the events of the past two years, uh, being the COVID-19 and the business interruption, I'm thinking that it's one of the topics that might come up. And also with the riots last year, I think that also that might also come up. And the third one, I'm not sure, but it might. It's uh, the, the current economic environment and how the insurance industry can assist in alleviating the challenges that we currently face in the, in the country. Yeah, they're all big topics um, and all very relevant topics. So be interested to see if there are challenges on them for you guys going forward. So, I mean, with all those big topics in mind, how, how did you prepare um, for your elimination round and, and what preparation do you still need to do um, you know, for, your upcoming, for your upcoming challenges, which, which are awaiting you? For my elimination round, uh, my preparation involved a lot of reading, and that's what I'm continuing on doing: uh, reading, and reading, and reading more reading every day. <laughs> so, and are, 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 that, are you at least learning from your reading? I mean, because we can read, but are they, you, are you they, learning? They, they, there are concepts that are getting stuck in my head that I sometimes get to recite in my sleep because <laughs> it's stuck there. Well, I mean, it's it's obviously done very well for your elimination round because you eventually got those answers in, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it helped. <laughs> so that, 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 that's the strategy that I'm going to utilize going forward. Yeah. So you, you mentioned at the beginning you entered to sort of see how far you can go and if you could get through the first round, you'd be happy. Is there a bigger reason of why you entered or do you just enjoy a challenge? Um, funny thing is, I've always wanted to enter the past six episodes. And every time I had to put my application in, I don't know what stopped me, but it never, I, I never <laughs> get to uh, hit the send button. I don't know what stopped me. I think it was just uh, me being afraid or not trusting myself enough to say that I can do it. And yeah, so... With the goal that I had set for myself for this season, I just told myself, go ahead. There's nothing to lose. You have everything to gain from this experience. If you get eliminated in the first round, at least you, you tried. But now going through, I've set another uh, bar to say, okay, let's see how far I can actually go with this thing. Okay. And seeing how far you can go, do you think that you're, do you think that you're going to win? Are you planning on winning? Uh... <laughs> That's the intention of everyone in the competition. We, we, we enter to win, so I also I, I love to win. Okay, and what would winning mean to you and your career going forward? Uh, winning for me would mean a lot. Uh, 
for my career, I would like to see myself climbing the corporate ladder a bit higher than where I am today. And um, I believe that if I win this, it will open those opportunities that were not there before. And that will mean a lot to me. Yeah, it is. It's 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 amazing opportunity to be in the competition because I can say that I've been there. I know exactly how you feel. Um, it's an even better opportunity to win it, but there is a lot of opportunities that arise from putting yourself out there. So, you know, with, with all of that in mind, um, I, I really do wish you all the best on your on your insurance apprentice journey. Um, I've been there, so I feel I feel the nerves. Um, but preparation, you, it sounds like you've you've done quite a bit, um, and you still continue you're still continuing to prep. And I really look forward to watching your insurance apprentice journey going forward and seeing where you end up. So with all of that, I wish you all the best. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah. Can't wait to can't wait to see you go through the next next round. Thank you.